Thank you for worshiping with us today at Greater Rhode Island Baptist. If you're joining us online today, thank you for watching with us. For our guests today, please take a moment to visit gribt.com connect and fill out the connection card if you haven't done so during the service so we can connect with you and serve you. Here's a reminder of our ongoing opportunities here at church. Tonight, we resume our growth groups at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. If you're not a part of a growth group, be sure to join tonight. It's where growth happens at our church. We're excited to get back into the book, Victory Over the Darkness, and we'll be in chapter three this evening. Be sure to purchase a copy of the book if you do not have one yet, and read chapter three. Come ready to learn and grow together. Greater Rhode Island Student Ministries and Awana will meet downstairs this evening at 6 p.m. as well. There's something for the entire family. Families are under a constant spiritual attack, so we're taking time to encourage yours this year. This Wednesday at 7 p.m. is our Family Focus Wednesday night. Our guest speaker this month is Dr. Ezekiel Salazar from Montecito Baptist Church in Ontario, California. This service will also be the final evening of our Spanish Congregation's Revival Meeting this week, so Wednesday will be a special bilingual service. There will be no youth choir or discipleship this Wednesday. So we'll see you at 7 p.m. this Wednesday for this special family focus. Here's what's coming up next at Greater Rhode Island Baptist. Summer camps are approaching quickly. Our junior campers are headed to the wilds of New England this year on June 3rd to the 8th for a week of preaching and activities. Parents, you may register them at thewildsofnewengland.com. Our teens are headed to the Edge Camp in Virginia on July 1st through 6th. Dr. Morris Gleiser will be preaching that week, and we are praying for God to continue moving in the hearts of our teenagers. Parents, you may register them online at theedge.camp where you will find all of the information you need. These camp dates are on the Church Center app. Begin making plans now for these special weeks for our kids. Next Sunday on April 14th, we invite you to our starting point lunch here at church. This is a complimentary lunch for anyone interested in learning more about the church or church membership. Pastor Navarrete will host his lunch immediately after the Sunday morning service next week. If you would like to attend, we ask that you please register online at gribt.com slash starting point or the church center app so we can prepare for you. We look forward to getting to know you better. Teen parents, tonight after the growth groups, we will have a brief informative meeting at 740 in the family side of the growth group set up here in the auditorium. There you will receive the next quarter's calendar of events for your teens and a brief word of encouragement from pastor. Hope to see you there for this important meeting. Our resource of the week is an inspiring book, Hudson Taylor's Spiritual Secret. This biography about the man called the father of modern missions was written by his son-in-law and daughter. Hudson Taylor lived in the joy and the power of God and this book gives his secret. Taylor said an easy, non-self-denying life will never be one of power. Fruit bearing involves cross bearing. There are not two Christs, an easy going one for easy going Christians and a suffering, toiling ones for exceptional believers. There is only one Christ. Are you willing to abide in him and thus bear much fruit? You can purchase your copy today at the welcome tables. Thank you again for joining us today in worship. For our first time guests, please stop by the next steps tables today as you leave to turn in your connection card. We have a gift for you in exchange for that card and our team members are waiting to help. If you have any questions about the message you heard today or would like more information about the church, please feel free to stop by those next steps tables in the back of the auditorium. We have several free resources for you there and our team members would be happy to help. May God bless you this week as you live for him.